In this video, we're diving into the fantastic world of placeholders and gaps, and trust me, they're like magic for your projects. Uncover the art of customization with the placeholder generator, from adding characters to changing backgrounds. Let's start with adding a gap clip. Move the playhead to the spot where you want to insert a gap. After that, go to the menu bar, click on Edit, then Insert Generator, and choose Gap. Or you can save time with the shortcut Option W. Now, you can adjust the gap's length with a simple drag. To add a placeholder, it's a bit different. Drag the playhead to the desired position, then click on the Titles and Generators icon on the top left, expand the Generators menu, choose the Elements category, and find the Placeholder Generator. Just double-click the thumbnail to add it to your timeline. But here's where the fun begins. Before we move on, how about giving us a thumbs up for spreading positivity? It not only tells me I'm doing great, but also helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch! Click on the placeholder clip, make sure your playhead is in place, and go to the inspector on the top right. If the inspector is not showing, click on this icon with three sliders. Now click on the generator button for all the cool controls. Here you can adjust various settings like framing, amount of people, background, and environment settings. You can even add notes by checking a box. Just double-click the text box in the viewer to make changes, and tweak text formatting in the inspector. So the next time you're working on your project in Final Cut Pro, remember, Placeholders and gaps are your secret weapons. Now it's your turn to learn how to work on multiple projects in Final Cut Pro. Discover the workflow I only use for organizing my projects and learn how to share multiple projects in just two clicks. Click here to check it out.